Hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Brigzar, your home for vintage Lego and all kinds of weird Lego stuff. This video is going to be a brief overview of an interesting book uh, that was sent to me by No Starch Press. It's by Grady Coke, and it is High Tech Lego Projects, 16 Rule-Breaking Inventions. And so I, when the offer was or the request was, you know, do I want to look at this? I wasn't 100% sure what this was going to be. I knew it was Mindstorms. I knew it was high tech. But when I got the book and I looked at it, I'm like, oh my goodness. This kind of reminds me of my younger self and some of the things I used to do, but didn't have the, the, the enough knowledge to do what this book does. It's things I wanted to do as a kid, but this book does them. So let me um, show you some of the things that this book has. So I'll try to remember to put a link in the description to Amazon or somewhere where you can buy it. If it's an Amazon link, it'll probably be an affiliate link, uh, just so you know. But uh, yeah, it's, the, it's, it's Mindstorms stuff, but it's the EV3, which is the one that, where you had the raptor, the little snake one. I did a video on it years ago. And... But it goes beyond just taking the kit or Lego pieces and building stuff. It's it's just like high tech. This is you need a soldering iron and tools and wires and laser beams and stuff. So it's it's really really neat these uh, these things that he builds. So yeah, he and oh and so Grady. <laughs> Not the Grady that uh, from the, the the Grady that I had the vintage collection from. This is Grady Coke. He is an, a doctorate in electrical engineering, I think, is what he said. I, I have to go back to that that um, that part of it. But so he's basically an electrical engineer. So he came up with some really cool ideas. So here are some of the projects. Now there's 12 chapters, so there's some of these have multiple different things that you can do. Uh, the motion a activated critter cam. The one that interested me the most was the Lego compatible laser. This uh, I'll show you a picture of that. And then he uses that laser in other things. Another one I thought about doing was the Morse code transmitter. That sounded pretty neat. Uh, using motion detector radar, motion sensing radar. The Tower of Eratos... I can't say it! <laughs> the Tower of Eratosthenes. I should have looked that up. Uh, before it, so that's a, a what how they uh, measured like the circumference of the Earth uh, back in the day. So there's a thing like that, and then the laser light show. That's probably that one's pr um, uh, pretty cool. But uh, let's get to one of these pages. All oh, right, here it is. I turned right to it because I've looked at this page several times. So to give you an idea what this book is going to teach you, and it is an instructional book, and it does have details of like the parts you need and how you're going to go about doing it so uh, this is a laser and it's got all the safety precautions mentioned in here but it's taken a laser that you can buy where you can buy it or what the part number is it's a diode laser module then it shows you the lego pieces you'll need and he's going to use these technic gearboxes um, to basically make a laser I think it's so cool. So doing stuff like that, and this, and and again, this is what some people might call illegal building techniques. Uh, but basically, you can do whatever you want to with your Lego. It's not truly illegal. It's it's uh, actually very interesting. And I, as a when I was a kid, I actually did cut my wires and modify things uh, when I would try to integrate technology. With Lego, so Lego has made it a lot easier for Grady uh, to integrate technology with Lego bricks, and so he even shows uh, uh, you'll have to do things like get resistors and diodes, and he shows how to cut the wire to a Lego. Um, The Lego connector there. I, I don't know why I can't think of the technology, but so it's just neat little things like that. Uh, there's there's a lot more in this book though. Uh, you can learn Morse code. Then it shows you it's got step by step instructions for everything. So I mean, it even shows you the coding in the Mindstorms app. Uh, so so you can program the EV3 uh, 
Mindstorm's module to do what you need to do for each of the different ideas he has. Oh, let's just show you the critter cram cam. Um, <laughs> or the the critter capture box. Is there a picture of it? Did I pass it on? Oh, that's the critter cam. Never mind. So he got a picture of a cat. There's a there's a thing in here he made where you can catch uh, bugs and stuff in it. Infrared transmitter. I may have already passed it. Oh yeah, building the automatic insect trapper. So yeah, so obviously you're using things that aren't Lego uh, to do that. The motion sensing radar, that sounds pretty neat. Oh look, there's the bugs he captured. So it's, it's just, just so cool, the things that you can do. And the one that I think was the most interesting, I don't want to give away the things, you got to buy this book to learn how to do all these things. But So yeah, he's using craggle, he's using screws and wires and a lot of non-Lego stuff. But it's the laser show. So using the laser and stuff where it projects an image uh, for a laser light show. Like you'd see sometimes like at a theme park or something like that. So I haven't read the whole book yet. I have skimmed through the whole thing and looked at all the different projects that he has. Um, but it's, it's really neat. It, it teaches you a lot about electronics, about science. And how you can integrate that to uh, learn more about nature, learn more about math, learn Morse code, learn about using your Lego bricks beyond what you thought might have been possible. So I want to thank No Starch Press for sending me this book. So again, I, I'm always happy to look at new Lego books that come out and... I was excited to get another one to look at, but and this is my I'm being I'm trying to be transparent because you know when you're sent something, uh, it's not that you're sent it and you're expected to say something good. I I was surprised with this book. I actually it was better than I expected, and I hope that down the road I have time available to to implement and try out some of his techniques in this book especially the laser i want to i want to build the laser brick because once you get the built the brick built once you uh integrate that laser into the pieces like he's got and you got the connector then then you can connect it to any lego design that you come up with so just really cool and i guess that's why it features the laser on the cover so thank you again no starch press grady you you're, you're the electrical engineer that i gave up on being but I, I had, I did have the desire. I just didn't have the willpower to. <laughs> wait, that, that, that's contradictory. I wanted to be an electrical engineer. <laughs> I just couldn't finish it. Uh, but you, you did it, and you went beyond, and you've combined things that I love: science and electronics and Lego. So thank you uh, for writing this book. And I hope this is something that you'll find interesting. Again, this is not for your amateur. Lego builders, this is for people that are willing to get out the soldering iron, the cutters, and to drill holes in your bricks and things like that. But it's pretty neat. So thank you, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. It's Brickzar.